Welcome back to Bullhead of Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, I want to review the new Bellacore album, Coherence, which I'll have a full album reaction for you guys last Friday when the album comes out, as well as if you guys have missed it, I did an interview with Steve on this channel from Bellacore. He plays the piano and keyboards on a Bellacore band. And I gotta say, I just discovered this band this year, and I've only listened to two albums, Vessels and Coherence. And after hearing Vessels, you can see my reaction to that as well, to the full album, is how much I loved it. I automatically fell in love with it and thought it was a great album, great band, great sound, everything. And I said it was going to be the greatest album you're going to hear, or at least I was going to hear this year, despite being an old album. That's until I heard Coherence. I didn't know it was going to be coming out this year. And guys, holy shit, is this a good album. I want to start with just not even the songs themselves, is that the production is just absolutely on point because I came in with the album you know, relatively new. I only heard Foothold. That was the only song. And honestly, that's still the only song that didn't 100% capture my attention on the album uh, that I felt slightly, slightly kind of in the middle. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. Uh, it has its place in the album. It provides a variety in the album. But for some reason, it just doesn't jive with me as other songs. But that aside... Oh my god, every song on this album is fantastic. Locusts, uh, Valiance, Hidden Window was my favorite song on the album. Uh, Much More Was Lost, which is the closer for the album, I thought was uh, either improperly placed in the album or should have been a little bit shorter. That was the only song I felt that was just slightly a little long because the album is quite long. You don't feel the length of the album, but there is a certain level of subconscious fatigue that set in for me just a bit. And uh, when I say that, it doesn't diminish how good I think this album is. It's probably the best album I've heard in the last five years, without a doubt. Without a doubt. There's so much on display in terms of... The thing that struck me the most, it feels so inspired. The album feels so inspired and it feels so much heart was poured into, into the album. There's so much variety, whether it be from the vocal standpoint, what they did with the various melodies and, and, and riffs and how they progress music into these beautiful moments and how everything flows. In terms of even like the, the sound of it, it's not... I haven't heard the old albums before Vessels, uh, but this album is a little heavier than Vessels and it's not as progressive as Vessels, I would say. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's not. It's still quite progressive from beginning to the end. When Steve mentioned that their, one of their inspirations for the music was in flames, I was actually able to hear that Gunnenberg sound of uh, melodic death metal in this album clear from the beginning to the end. I heard a lot of Opeth. I heard a lot of Dark Tranquility and Theater of Tragedy, Tiamat, all these like bands of the, I believe, the mid to late 90s and 2000s that got really big and Dream Theater. There's so much going on, but I think they lean more on a slight heaviness in this album that I think does it very, very well in terms of music because when the softer parts come in, they're really gentle and soft. When the heavier parts come in, it's nice and it keeps its brutality of what death metal is all about. They're able to mix and match the soft and heavy very, very well uh, and I would even say even better than Vessels, than what I heard before. Of course, I'm going to be going back to the older albums and listening to those as well to really get to know this band even more. But I, I can call myself already a fan with just Vessels and Coherence because you don't get music like this very often. Uh, it, it really feels like true musicians and true artists sat down to create something that they felt was going to be great. Uh, and it is. My only criticisms would be, is what I mentioned, that the last song I felt was a little bit long. Just a little bit long. It kind of dragged just a bit. It could have been a little tighter. And there are two songs on this album which are instrumentals. There's a Dispersion and Indelible. Uh, both of them are great on their own. If you really listen to them, they're good instrumentals. They're nice ways to try give you a break in transition. In the span of an album, listening it from the beginning to the end, they have their place in the album. 
but honestly speaking they're also not the type of for me personally they're not the type of instrumental songs i would come back to and listen to over and over and again for example from anybody who's a fan of in flames man made god is a fantastic instrumental song which has solos interesting riffs there's reasons for me to come back and hear it again where here i believe the instrumentals service more a mood and a transition for your ears to either take a break or get you in a different kind of a mood uh highlight piano a little bit more they do a couple of different things in in there uh that service the album but if i'm gonna come back and re-listen to it i can see myself very honestly skipping those songs uh ever so often and the fact that i i kind of was kind of lukewarm about foothold i did a reaction for that song on this channel and i said that i probably will need a couple listens to get into that song and you know even after a couple listens i'm i'm not 100 percent sold at that song i don't think it's bad i don't think it's particularly great in my opinion uh it's just like it, it's there i appreciate it but it for me it doesn't live up to the same heights of locust valiance hidden window uh sweep of days uh, all those songs just have so much going on that i felt like foothold for some reason wasn't on on, on that same level uh in, even much more was lost despite the fact that i think it's kind of a, a slightly longer song it's almost like three songs in one because it's like big breaks throughout that particular song uh but i stand by the fact that i think this is one of the best death metal albums melodic death metal albums i've ever heard uh it's one of the best albums i've heard in the last five years for sure and it's just nice to see kind of an outpouring of of emotion musicianship and hard work that you can hear in the music especially with that crisp and clear production uh what i liked from bellicor from the beginning which i've never mentioned there's no there's no commercial touch that's on this band you can tell they're making music exactly the, one, the way they want to make it. They play exactly how they want to play. And they write music first for themselves that they feel is the right music to create. And they hope that fans resonate with it. And you can hear it in the music because the fans just love it. Because it's something that I can't call it completely unique sound that you've never heard before. But they offer uh, a, a take on the melodic death metal that I think is either much missed or hasn't been heard a lot of and i think coherence is just an absolutely fantastic album uh i can't praise it enough it's to a point where i feel like i should be like a sponsor almost for bellicor how much i loved this uh particular band and the interview with steve only solidified that more for me to be honest uh he was such a nice guy and he was able to express himself in very well uh, detailed kind of manner made me understand where they come from and so much so a lot of things he said i was able to sense and feel in the music which i think was important uh without a doubt i cannot see any fan of bellacore not absolutely liking and loving this band, uh, album uh where it's gonna stand in the pantheon i don't know yet i need to listen to the older albums and get onto those as well i know the production is not as good on those albums but it feels like a um a natural progression of a band and even without hearing their older albums I, I would also have this innate intuition feeling that this is this is a new chapter and a new level for this band that they have stepped onto that's going to put them on a different level. I, I think I made comparisons in my reaction to Nile, Those Whom the Gods Detest. That album for Nile, in my opinion, just put them on a different pedestal that, that they never reached. They already were a great band before that, but I feel like that album just solidified what they're capable of. And that's, I think, what's appearance here as well. And I congratulate all of Bellacore on this album. I, I just wish them huge success because I think it's rightfully deserved. There's bands like this that need to be more out and open and make it, and people need to hear it because there's a lot to offer and a lot to see here. Uh, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe down below. I will link my reaction to the whole album once it comes out down below here as well. And I'm going to link the interview for those who are interested to hear Steve talk about Bellacore in general. But either who, guys, either who guys, you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Keep up metal out there. Take care of yourself.